Hey y'all, what is going on? This is Jesse Boats from the 19th hole. I got the pro playthrough here for the Winter Major Tournament. Had it done last night, but just uh, just now getting the time to put some voice over uh, to the holes. So hopefully this kind of helps you all out and uh, maybe you'll learn a thing or two uh, moving forward for the uh, for the tournament. Maybe qualification or even maybe your opening round. So we got hole number one here. We're we'll playing this one to the left hand side with an extra mile uh, plus 10% for the elevation adjustment. You went somewhere between four and a half to six bars of topspin. Uh, I would say about five bars of topspin is probably the better topspin to use. Otherwise, you, know, you can possibly roll too far into the rough uh, with like a great left or great right ball. So on this drive right here, I do a couple things incorrectly. Uh, first, I use full topspin, as you can see. Uh, I start my, my target out a little bit far off the edge of the rough. I want that yellow ring to actually be about midway onto that rough. Uh, when we adjust for our shot here and then push the shot back up, the rough's really not even going to be in you know in the picture once we play our shot. So I'm going to use about you know about a half a ball of curl here on this shot, and uh, you know the overpower that you use is definitely up to you. Uh, if you want to use more overpower, you can, but uh, it's definitely going to put you in risk. And uh, as you see for me, you know I started way too far to the right on the shot and it shows us the results. The good thing about getting far up the fairway is it actually puts you in um, short iron range. Um, so, you know, if you want to take the shot with a short iron, then you can. Otherwise, you'll be playing your long iron, which would be a grizzly or your, um, your goliath. So this time I do a little bit better. As you're going to see, I have my yellow uh, circle uh, a little bit farther closer to the edge of the rough line, actually cutting the rough line a little bit. We make our plus 10% adjustment here, and then we're going to push up. We're also using a katana ball, so not quite as much power, and uh, so I don't have to quite as worry much as much about going too far on the shot. We go with a little bit of overpower here, not too much, and about a half a ball of curl. And this is the way that you want your drive to come in, uh, right down the middle of the fairway, and from right there, you know, looking at more of like a probably like a 75 to 50% uh, long iron. So this is the shot from my previous shot, my first shot. As you can see, I have a max level Thorn or Hornet, whatever you decide to use. I'm playing this one at minus 20%. Uh, you're gonna play the shot anywhere from two to three bars of backspin. And we're playing this one pretty much right at max Thorn. After I apply my backspin, you're gonna see me actually move my, my shot up a little bit more towards the max number here. So max minus 20% is what I played this one. Um, it's important to make sure you have that wind arrow as straight as possible before you make your adjustment. And we're going to hit this one. Unfortunately, we hit it great left, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, we're going to miss it. And we're not going to miss it by much. I think a perfect would have definitely been in. And I think that's a great way to play this hole moving forward. Just want to make sure we hit the perfect next time and hopefully get the drop. So you're either going to be looking at, like, max level short iron like you saw me play there or maybe like a mid to 25 percent long iron uh, and it really just going to depend on the distance of your drive which one of those clubs that you will need to use all right hole two here we're playing this one with a sniper uh, you can play it with a kingmaker or a katana ball uh, we're playing it with a kingmaker here in this example uh, about 2.8 bars of backspin, max right spin on this shot. We're playing the rough bump. It's kind of like a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a funnel right there, as you can see. Now, with the left, I mean, right to left headwind, I'm going to play this shot kind of right of the, uh, of the pin. So I set my shot up right of the pin here. We're playing plus 15% here, or no, plus 20% here, mid adjustment with a level 9 or 10 sniper. If you have a lower sniper, like a level 8, then you play a plus 25%. Uh, it is a mid-adjustment. As you see, it bounces pretty much right where we had it, and we came really close to dropping it. Uh, maybe a little bit more of an offset, or possibly you know, my pull may have been a little bit off. It's uh, hard to tell which of those two it could have been, but it's definitely a really good way to play this shot, and uh, it's going to give you a really good chance to get the ace. Hole number three here, uh, par five. We're going to be playing this one plus 10%. Um, I'm going to be playing this one straight up the middle. I'm going with a Titan ball here. 
this would definitely be a hole where you could use a berserker ball uh, and get even farther up the fairway on your second shot. Uh, but I think, you know, with the clubs I have here, a Titan ball will be sufficient. I'm using an extra mile. You can really use whatever driver you want on this shot. Uh, it's going to work. Um, extra mile, APOC, uh, Thor, all of those will work. Plus 10%. I'm using a little bit of left curl uh, to kind of push this shot farther away from that right rough edge. Uh, because if you are too close to that rough edge and you hit that hill, the ball does have a tendency to kind of roll back towards the to the rough. So definitely, that's why I put a little bit of curl on that shot. So for the second shot here, you could play with the Horizon or Big Dog. If you want to play the Horizon, I would suggest going with the Berserker. As you see with the Big Dog and the Titan Ball, I have just enough room uh, to really make this shot work, but it's going to require full overpower. So if you're comfortable with full overpower shots, then the Titan's okay. Otherwise, then you may want to start thinking about like a Power 4 uh, or even like a Power 5 Ball uh, for this shot. We hit this one great right, but we're still going to come in nicely, and we roll pretty far up this fairway, and it's going to put ourselves in con condition, position, for either max short or min long iron. So let's see what we have here. Or actually, it's a min short iron, my bad. So we got a min short iron here. Um, we're going to land this one right off the edge of the fringe here. What we're going to do is we're going to add our backspin to the shot. We're going to be playing this shot at minus 10%. The second shot was played at plus 10%. This third shot is played at minus 10%. We make our adjustment here with the Hornet. You can use the Hornet or a Thorn. I just so happen to have a Hornet in my bag. Uh, we hit this one perfect. It comes in very nicely and it's gonna roll in and drop dead center of the cup for the Eagle. So playing that shot, you know, somewhere between two to three bars of backspin uh, and just make sure you have that uh, club percentage adjusted correctly. I played that one right at min, so that was a really easy adjustment to figure out. All right, hole number four, our next par three is up. We're going to be playing this one with uh, a Goliath. Uh, you can use a Quasar or a Katana Ball. And uh, we're going to play about two and a half bars of left spin and about three quarters of a bar of top spin. So what we're really doing here is we're looking at our second uh, bounce. Um, you know, depending on what level of Goliath you have, your rings will be different. So it's hard to really kind of give you aim this ring at this location. You're really looking at that second bounce and third bounce. For me, I want my second bounce to be, you know, right there around the edge of the fringe fairway uh, line, uh, and we want it to be pointed towards the hole. Um, so 0.75 top, 2.5 left, as you see I had my adjustment wrong, but we get it corrected here, and as you see that ball guide is much better pointed towards the uh, hole now. So as you can see we have our ball guide aimed right off the right edge of the hole. We're going to make our adjustment here, plus 10%, max adjustment for this shot with the Goliath, and let's see how this one uh, hits. going to bounce nicely towards the hole and as you're going to see it's going to come in just to the right edge of the hole so on the next attempt we're going to play it more uh, directly pointed at the hole and see if uh, maybe that small adjustment will uh, will be the difference everything else is going to be the same uh, 2.5 left 0.75 topspin we're playing this one with a katana ball this time and we're going with the same spin adjustments. The only thing different we're going to do is uh, we're going to aim this one, you know, more at the hole this time. But that second bounce right there on the edge of the fairway uh, fringe area. Plus 10% max with the adjustment here. And let's see how this one comes in after our, our minor tweak. See, it comes in, looks like it'd be just left of the hole. So, uh, you know, it's right there. Uh, I think if we continue playing that shot and keep working at it, we'll definitely get the drop. All right, hole number five is next. This one is a par four. We're going to be playing this one to the uh, right side. We're going to be trying to set up the rough bump here in the pro. You can always play it to the left side and then play uh, a long iron wood shot at the hole. 
I think the um, the rough bump though to the right is going to be your uh, your best chance at dropping this shot though for the eagle. And the way we're going to play it is about four and a half top spin max right spin. We're playing plus ten percent here um, <clears throat> on this shot. You do want a katana or kingmaker ball because you do want that side spin three uh, category on the shot. About a half ball of curl, and as you can see, this one's going to come in pretty nice. And uh, it's going to set us up for our uh, our long iron shot, either with your Goliath uh, or your Grizzly, uh, and that would be the, the club that you will use. So for the second shot here, we're playing zero percent, and we're playing with about three and a half bars of top spin, uh, two bars of right spin, and for this shot here, uh, it was at 365. I'm going to be playing this one. I'm going to be playing this one right about mid distance on the shot. It may have been, you know, a little bit under mid, but I played it at mid. So three and a half top spin, two right spin. We want that ball guide going towards the hole. Um, we're gonna add a little bit more top spin just to try to give it a little bit extra uh, bump there. So we ended up with four top, two right. This is with the Goliath. And you could also use your Grizzly if you have your Grizzly leveled up as well. So 0% on the elevation. We hit this one perfect, and let's see how it comes in. It's got a nice little bounce there, and the roll, and it's still going to come up a little bit short, as you can see. That slight headwind uh, just got us, so we need a little bit more through the hole to try to get that drop. But definitely, you know, something that I think can be uh, tweaked a little bit uh, and give us a really good chance to drop the shot. Hole six is next here. We'll be playing this one um, to the right side. We're going to be playing an extra mile curl shot here. Um, kind of like you saw me play in my rookie uh, playthrough last week when I was kind of just playing the Tour 5 holes. I played this shot, and we're going to play it the same way this time. Uh, and I think with this wind, you know, we'll still be able to play this one even with uh, an extra mile. I think we'll have just enough curl to make this happen. So we're going to put the orange ring there on the edge of the rough line. We're going to go with uh, six top and then as much left spin as we can get. We're going to be making our adjustment. We push up. Uh, plus 10 percent and then we're going to use uh, about uh, almost one ball of curl to the left we hit great right so we're going to see if this is a great right proof shot and i think it is looks like it's going to be still nicely up the fairway uh, and putting us in position for a second shot trying to get to that green just trying to get ourselves into position for an eagle on this very tough par five so we could actually get to the uh, that third fairway as you can see with the Kingmaker so you know if you want to go with the Berserker ball you know you may have a chance to get there but then you lose that uh, side spin three stat so I'm not sure if the trade-off is worth it um, in the end so we just kind of just go with the bounce over shot here for top spin and then you can try to get a little bit more aggressive towards the the hole if you want to and that's really up to you we played minus 10 percent here on this shot and you see it bounces nicely, and with four hours of top spin, it puts us right there on the green. Very easy putt uh, for an easy eagle. So, depending on how aggressive you want to get with that shot, you can try to go more directly at the hole uh, and maybe get that drop for the albatross. But I don't think it's going to be a shot that a lot of people are getting in the pro. Uh, so, you know, if you so happen to get it, definitely awesome kudos to you. And you definitely probably picked up a, field, a stroke on the whole field. All right, we got hole number seven is next, and we're going to be playing this one for the rough bump. So that means we'll be playing the quarterback and the sniper. Um, be playing this one with the katana ball, and be playing this one um, to the right hand side at plus twenty percent for the elevation. We're going with uh, at least four bars of backspin. Uh, and then we just want to play with the ball guy kind of just going over the edge of that uh, of that rough line here. So as you can see, we can play this one right at max adjustment with our quarterback. Um, really can play at mid or max. It looks like make the shot. And as I choose to play it at mid. So we'll make our mid adjustment here for our quarterback. And trying to set ourselves up for the rough bump. 
So we hit that one perfect, you're going to see it comes in, bounces on the fairway, over the rough, and then stops on the fairway. So from here, we're going to have a chance to play our sniper. Now, you're going to see two things in this next shot. I'm going to freeze frame it right before I make my adjustment so you can see where it's supposed to land. And then I'm going to freeze frame it where it does land. This will be playing at 25% with this shot. And I want you to see that in the end, I actually end up over adjusting the shot. So instead of 25%, I think it's more of a 20% shot, uh, especially with the, uh, the Sniper 9 or the Sniper 10. So about one backspin, a couple bars of right spin, and just want to aim this one at the hole. I aim this one off the right edge of the hole, just for that right to left tailwind push. We make our adjustment here. And as you're going to see, it's going to freeze frame here when it actually gets to the landing point, so you can see where it lands. And we actually landed farther to the right um, compared to where we aimed our shot. Uh, and as a result, you know, of that over adjustment, we're going to miss to the right of the hole. So instead of plus 25%, play plus 20% there on that shot. Alright, so we are going to have hole number 8 next which is a par three and for this shot here we're going to be playing about four and a half backspin three and a half spin to the left we're playing a plus 20 percent mid adjustment for the shot and this will be for hole number eight our third and final par three and um you know this is another difficult par three um, but uh, hopefully, you know, it's one that we can uh, figure out and uh, get the drop on it. So like I said, plus 20% mid distance and four and a half back spin, three and a half left spin. So the two aim points we're looking at here uh, is our blue ring on the left hand side, just barely touching the rough or right there at the rough line. And then our blue ring on the right side, about two thirds of our rough, uh, our blue ring into the rough. So four and a half back, three and a half left. You see a pretty severe offset right there. That second bounce was kind of at the uh, the top edge of a dark green square. And we're gonna just hope for this wind push, um, this strong left to right side wind uh, to get us back in line with the hole. It bounces pretty much where we aimed it, so that's a good uh, sight to see. And we got a decent roll actually. Uh, maybe just like a tad too much backspin on that shot. Otherwise, it would have been close to dropping. All right, last and final hole, hole number nine. Uh, we'll be playing this one with plus 10% off the tee box. And, uh, you know, the club that you use here, you know, you can use, you know, the Thor, the APOC, the Extra Mile, the Big Topper. I like the Big Topper. I think it just gives me a lot of good distance uh, on the roll. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're playing our orange ring right there at the edge of the rough line just to give ourselves a little bit of a buffer there, plus 10% here. And um, I think we played this one at mid adjustment pretty much, either mid or max. Definitely check out the distance of your club before you make that decision. Hit that one perfect. It's going to come in, bounce, plenty of room on the bounce as you can see and it's going to roll up this fairway quite a good distance. The good thing about that, it's gonna put us in position for a very easy second shot toward the green. Now for the second shot toward the green, you can play this one with the horizon or big topper. You could even play this one with a sniper. If you could get up that fairway a little bit more, then you could definitely have a sniper shot uh, directly to that, uh, that next fairway and then using that ball guide go towards the hole. I think in the end, this is going to be more of a, you know, play your play your shot correctly uh, and just get yourself in position for that eagle. This is, I don't think, is going to be a, an albatross hole. So definitely, you know, don't try to do something too much, you know, and uh, end up hurting yourself with a, you know, an eagle chip out of the rough or an eagle chip from, like, way back in the fairway. You want to get up there near the screen, make sure you get that eagle chip in uh, for your shot. So as you can see, it rolls up there really nicely uh, next to the green, and that's going to give us a very sh short little wedge chip uh, for our eagle. We've got our end bringer in here, 
So this is one of those ones where you just kind of straighten out that ball guide uh, and play your shot. As you see, you have a really nice kind of right to left tail end. So there's not going to be too much movement on this shot. Just try to hit it perfect and drop it, get your eagle, and call it the day. Appreciate y'all being here for this pro playthrough. Hopefully you all learned a thing or two in this video. Uh, if you have some comments as far as maybe other ways to play these holes, definitely leave that information in the comment section of the video. I'm sure the community will be very appreciative of any kind of information that we can get. This is a brand new course, so this is new to everybody, and we're kind of just learning as we go. All right, y'all, take care. Have a great day, and God bless.